Hello. Stephanie. Yes. Good morning. It's Gary in Bristol from Kiss Country 93.7. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, hi. Fancy meeting you here. Yeah. Hey, do you uh, do you know Jenny Marola? I do know Jenny Marola. <laughs> you know she is a beautiful writer? Yes. Yes, she is. She wrote us a beautiful letter about you. Have you got a minute for us to read it to you? Oh, yeah. She says, I have had the honor and privilege to work with Stephanie McIntyre for about 30 years. In this time, she served many roles. She's been a dedicated teacher at Judson Magnet for 33 years. And in that time, she helped thousands of students, not to mention hundreds of teachers. She served as a mentor to many new teachers. And since she is a master at schedules, she's helped in planning schedules for multiple principals. She's also been a role model for many children and adults alike. Through most of her years as a teacher, she also served as a full-time position, or she served a full-time position as a preacher's wife. She's opened her door and her heart to so many people by offering service, whether it be a warm meal, an encouraging word, along with tips on how to save time and do things more quickly and effectively as an educator. She's a wonderful wife, daughter, and mother. After working in both of these roles every week for almost as long as I've known her, she has prepared a meal once a week for her family, her husband, her parents, her siblings, her children, and now their children as well. She values her family and their time together, and it's obvious they all adore her. Many years ago, I was sick and going through a very emotional time with a divorce that had broken me in almost every way. I was having to move out of my house and into a new one. Stephanie came to me and said, I've been praying for you, and I will come help you pack this weekend if you want me to. Those words have stuck with me through the years. That generosity and offer of time, when I knew she didn't have much time to give, meant the world to me. Later, I was put in a difficult situation in the workplace, the dreaded year of COVID. Without her... I do not know if I could have made it. She was my rock, and she's been a rock for so many others. She's the true definition of service. She not only talks the talk, she walks the walk. I am lucky to have worked with her all those years, and even more fortunate to call her one of my friends. (laughs) Way to go, Jenny. You made Stephanie cry. Oh, she can always make me cry. Um... She is an amazing person, and I am I'm overwhelmed by her words. Um, Stephanie, if you're like me, just blame it on Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Baby girl, it's just uh, so much easier. <laughs> and now you're retired. I am. Wow. Am what it are you doing? It doesn't sound like she slowed down at <laughs> no. all to me, What Gary. are you doing with, with all your free time now? <laughs> well, my husband recently retired as well, and um, so we're just kind of uh, revamping our life because neither one of us know what we're doing anymore. <laughs> um, and uh, we just spend a lot of time around the house, you know, doing things that have been neglected for 30 years. <laughs> now, according to my mother, everybody always is like, well, since you have so much time on your hands, everybody wants them, her to do their stuff. And she's like, what? I'm finally doing mine. <laughs> yes, that's true. But she I says she has less honor. time as a retiree than she did when she was working. <laughs> yeah, I uh, get the honor and privilege of keeping my grandkids and you know, they can call with the drop of the hat and say, hey, I, my sitter didn't work out or whatever. And so um, it's, a, it's, it's a blessing. It is a blessing for sure. Well, we have the privilege and honor of letting you know that all this week you are going to be uh, at the top of the list around here because you're this week's recipient of the Kiss Country Caught in the Act Award. Oh, how wonderful. And that yes, comes with honor. goodies. You get a $100 gift certificate to go to Silver Star. Oh, excellent. Love it. That's <laughs> one of my favorite places. <laughs> we can take one meal off of your uh, your your plate there. I don't know if we're going to be that able to feel, feed all those people, though. <laughs> no, no. I, I fed them Monday night. That's normal. my, my normal <laughs> night to feed them. So. 
I told him the other night, though, if the food's gone up so much, I don't know if I'll be able to afford much longer. <laughs> Y'all stop eating so much. You only get one serving. That's it. Oh, yeah. But I got big guys in my family, so they eat a lot. Well, Stephanie, thank you for being so amazing. And I, I just can't imagine all the lives that you have blessed by being part of them. Well, um, I, the blessing was mine for sure uh, because they touched me as much as I touched them always. So 